What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to play some Judgment. I know we did it last video, but um, I'm in the mood to play Judgment. It's kind of fun right now, and I'm not having that much fun ranked, so let's do that today. I'm on my alt account because, as you can probably guess, I'm in the middle of a run on my main account. And let's head right into this. So, this should be the last video I have to pre-record for when I'm away at, like, uh, I'm away at uh, taking, like, the... 3D game design camp and like so this should be the last video it should be going out on Monday and tomorrow's video on Tuesday will be like two weeks later two two and a half weeks later of me talking right now and um, it'll be like updates about everything that's going on so um, stay tuned for that um, so thank god I don't have to like do any more of this uh, like mass recording sessions <laughs> I should go back to the one video I mean I am doing one video a day but I had to record so many in advance but it should be pretty good tomorrow for yeah for tomorrow all right so let's see judgment um hmm I guess there's a breaker and a fang bear I think that's the best thing and then binding roots like pseudo removal and judgment so I think that's the best course of action so I'm gonna go like that Breaker, Binding Root, Striked Finger, and then Sister of the Bear. So definitely we're in growth mostly so far. Here, I don't know. I'll definitely take these two guys first. Okay, so now there is not much growth on these rows. So we might have to pick a different faction here. Kabonk is a good thing to splash. Here, I should probably... And this will give me order and then I can get the Kabonk down here. So I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. So then I'll get the Memorial and either the Kabonk or the Cross Summon. Here, I don't know. I could get the efficiency for that one extra damage. I'll probably just take the Gravehawk in case I get good buffs. Because that's a relentless unit. There's an Outcast here. So we'll see. Let's see what we can do. Um... Four pretty decent cards here, but none of them are in growth. But we looks like we might be in some order. Um, let's go ahead and take the Gravehawk because that's just a good relentless unit that you can have. Um, not too much good stuff down here. I'll take the Kabonk over the Crosswoman. I think. Uh, Overloading on creatures in, in Judgment is not that uh, useful because you gotta have that nice balance of spells and Kabonk is really good. So I'll take that. Pa, there's nice. So it's speed. I think I'll take the speed. I think it's the most versatile. I do see a curse monger here. I could take that in the soul steel. But that I definitely am really far into growth. Not too far, but I do like what I have in growth. So I'll take the speed so I can go with like maybe growth order. Because I do have this stone pact. And maybe I could take the summons to get more stone packs, start ramping up in... I guess so. I mean, nothing else on this row is, like, yelling at me. So I'll take that, and now definitely the paw they're here. Um, I guess tribesmen, because it's pretty decent on this row. Nothing else really is that good. Um, I could take it on the stone pack, get more order. But I don't think I need that, because I might have a summons. And then there's a wing shield, and probably a mangy wolf down here champion ring here that could be really good i could catch like an instant skirmisher with the grave hawk if i put the champion ring on so i'll take the champion ring the wing shield there's another kabonk down here a wing soldier elder i'll take the mangy wolf maybe i can get some wolves um prisoners of war Nah, it's not going to really work that's that well. I don't know. I'll just take the Crave Luck Elder. I'm probably not going to use it, though. Um, Kabonk or Sister the Bear, Wing Soldier? Probably Sister the Bear. How many? I only have five creatures in growth right now, so I'll take another Sister the Bear. Um, I guess Ancestral Pack by default. It's not too bad. It's decent. We Wetland Ranger here is really good. I'm and a Sister the Bear there. Or I could take a Woodland Memorial. 
and that would ramp my growth. But we don't really have to ramp that far in growth right now. Our highest resource, our highest thing in growth is four, right? So right now we can just go to like two growth and two wilds, and we'd be good. We'll see. Um, ancestral pact will take, I guess, sisters of the bear, wetland ranger. There's an road. Puppets all in the same row. Heritage I'll take because that's some nice card draw in order. And then there's a tempo theft. Um, sorry about the notification. That's me. And another champion ring. I'll take that. Uh, I'd like to get some ragged wolves. They're like stuff. Uh, Vitra Aura, I guess. Tempo theft or essence beast. I'll go with the tempo theft. I don't even have any beasts. Only beasts is Sharp Fang Bear, I think. So I'll take the tempo theft. Um, owl or champion ring? Owl can be pretty good now with that one countdown and flying ability. Stagger and frost scale down here. Him here. I'll go ahead and take the. How many creatures do we have? Eight growth. And we're about halfway through the draft. Um, I'll take the champion ring. This is gonna be better. Um, him, I guess. Frost or stag heart. I'm gonna take the stag heart. And then the owl. And I don't know. I guess the blessing of haste. Yeah, definitely the blessing of haste. Um, Horn of Ages or Vengeful. Blood. I'll take the Vengeful better. This is a really strong row of rares. Look how good these four cards are. I'll take the uh, Breaker though. Because. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Breaker. So. And then energy. We could may have been able to make a good energy deck. I see a lot of good energy scrolls. Now, the Rangers being our veteran, we'll just definitely take the veteran. Um, I guess Frost Beard here. Wing Spear over the Junkyard. I don't know. Language. I was not, that's my second stack, alright. That's good. I'd like to get more Relentless units. I do have two right now. I have the Bear and the Gravehawk. And I have a lot of attack buffs. There's a Berserker and a Brother of the Wolf here, so that's good. Here, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll take the Racking. Look at these three scrolls right here on the side. Man, this looks pretty good in growth. Um, I guess more order. Um... Position is pretty good. Magnetizers can be buffed really well with enchantments because of that one countdown. Now I could go for the extra growth, or I can go for another kabonk. But I really have like having a lot of kabonks. I could just continuously like poke, 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 poke. So I'm gonna do that. Yarl, Urhald, or Sister of the Owl. That's gonna be a tough choice. Um, what are we at right now? Fifteen. Oh, these are our last three right here. Ah, oh, we can't go mono growth. We're really close to going mono growth. Um, we how high do we go into growth? We go into five right now, and that's it. But Urhal just so just changes the game. I do have an owl, so maybe the sister of the owl would work better. Nah, but the Urhal's relentless. Ugh. You know, I'm going with the Urhald. No, I'm not going to get up to it, though. You know, I'm going with Sister Owl. Our highest thing is 5, so I think I want to keep it like that. So we can be very aggressive. we got, like, aggro growth going on here, even though Sister Owl is not usually an aggro growth. Focus or Binding Root. I'll take the Focus. And then, finally, the Ancestral Pact. Now, let's see how we want to build this deck. See, I said very close to Mono, and that's true. Um, first, let's add the stuff that we absolutely want in the deck. So, um, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Like two stack arts. If I got a third stack art, that'd be really nice. Hmm, maybe the stack arts aren't that worth it because I don't have two. I only have two. We'll see. We'll see if there's anything else I'd rather put in. Yeah, I should put the frost weird in, right? Ancient Wolf, I probably don't need because the Brother of the Wolf is the only thing that's going to be spawning wolves. We'll see. So many is that? How many creatures? 15 creatures. That's pr pretty decent. Not great. I'll take the Binding Root. 
Um, I think I made you. Well, that isn't bad as on its own. I mean, it's not good, but it could heals itself. It's not the worst. Let's take. Let's see what we want in order. We definitely want that. Definitely want that. I think I want both of those. Probably want the magnetizer, the pother, or the transposition. That's like a lot of nice utility scrolls. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I want to go to that three to take the like. I probably should. The three makes it really nice. But right now I only have to go to one order, and then wild, and then sack the rest for growth. So I'm gonna stay at two. I really, I wish I could get this wing shield or the heritage. Um. Okay, so let's go back into the growth and add in the two ancestral packs. Uh, or a stone pact. Let's add one stone pact and one main jewel piece. I don't think we're going to be using ancestral packs. I don't think we'll be playing it. Let's see. Growth order. Go! Okay, come on. Scrolls, gods. Find me a judgment match relatively soon. Okay. So I'm definitely not editing this video, so I think I will edit my videos in the future. Maybe maybe tomorrow's video will be edited because maybe I'm gonna be more motivated in two weeks time, which is just one day's time for you. Because this video is being recorded uh in the past but tomorrow's video will be in the present dun, 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 dun. all right so i will try to remember to put an annotation on the screen on where to skip to and to get to where you find the match and i will be back momentarily
Alright guys, we finally found a match. That took a little while, but I'm glad we're back. And a good luck to Turncoat. I do not recognize that name. Um, it's kind of interesting because the scrolls community is kind of small, so then you kind of recognize most people's names when you play them. So, we're probably going to get to four growth and one order and one wild. Or maybe five growth and a wild and order. So we can play the order scrolls in the same turn as the growth scrolls. But we'll see. We'll see what turn code has in, has in store for turn one. Turn coat, turn one. Look, we're matching heads. It's a ton of fun. Let's see. Hmm. So judgment decks are 30 scrolls. And this is 25. And that says 32. Why is that? So I guess it's 25 because I have 5 scrolls in my hand. So why is this 32? Does he have like negative 2 scrolls in hand or something? But it says he has 5. So would that mean he has a 37 scroll deck? Is turncoat there? Hello turncoat. Mr. Turncoat. Come on. Game is not spectatable. I wonder if he's there. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna sec this. Oh. Uh, should I just skip my turn so, uh. Uh. You. Ran out of time. I'll skip so it's kinda fair. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. It's only judgment. I probably wouldn't give the other person an extra turn ranked, but in judgment, I am perfectly happy. Um, skipping my turn because he accidentally skipped his turn. Okay, so he's energy. Um, hopefully, we don't see me too many structure because it's pretty hard for me to deal with, most likely. Um, I will try to get to. Let me get to that vengeful better. I was thinking about uh mulligan in that last turn but i like our two, turn two drop okay so we're gonna get the first creature on the board but he has something up his sleeve and it's scaring me um stag hard champion i want to keep both of those i'm gonna sack like a bonk I'm play the. I'm actually gonna play the. Um. Vengeful Vetter, because I want him in the lower countdowns to quickly start getting me more growth. Next turn, I will probably play the Grave Hawk, and a turn after that, maybe the Stag Heart and the Champion Ring on the Grave Hawk, and then a Berserker. That's the plan. Let's see if it happens. Grave Hawk. In the uh Um I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Okay. Sorry if the last few videos have not been top quality commentary and stuff like that. I will I'm planning on getting a new microphone. Um it might be there for the next video you see on this channel. I don't know. Again, this video this video is being recorded two weeks before the next video is being recorded, but they're uploading on back-to-back -back days. So the next video is in the present. This video is in the past. Is Turncoat, like, not really there or something? Right, there he is. No! Well, I guess it's pretty good because I'd rather lose this guy than my Gravehawk. Um, I'll sacrifice the Sister of the Bear because I like this stuff more. And I will play my Hawk. 
I could put the hawk in front to protect that thing, but I don't think we need to protect it. It's not too hard to ramp up. I'll let him get that trade. I'm giving up a two cost creature, and he's giving up a one cost creature. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I never really minded Copper Automatons. I mean, he's losing a scroll. Okay. So next turn, I guess I'll play the Brother of the Wolf and then the turn after the Staggerheart Champion Ring. Because there's no point in putting the Staggerheart Champion Ring this turn because he's not attacking yet. But then again, I might just want to, I want, might want to play the Berserker the next turn. Wildling, that is kind of scary. And a Copper, no! I want to keep that thing alive. Okay. Um. That's actually really scary. Double stack heart would give you seven health, and that would be enough to survive that, but he might play stuff and I might be screwed. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the champion ring. I'm gonna play the brother of the wolf. And hopefully this thing is able to survive. Hopefully this is not able to play two creatures this turn. And then I'll build a double stag cart and just obliterate him. Come on. Come on. I know you can only play one creature this turn. And it's probably going to kill it anyway with something else. He's two scrolls. Uh, that's probably two creatures. Okay. Few. Wait, why am I saying few? He's an oak blooded wildling on the board. No. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sack this to the bear for scrolls. I'll just go for the double stack right now. Okay. Well, now I have this thing. No protection right now, but it's a five-two-six creature. Oh my. Please, please don't have like sparks of. Ooh. Blessing of haste is not good enough. Five, you have seven. Yeah, it's not good enough. I need more. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice the uh, the magnetizer. Okay, now please, please, please don't be able. Don't have like a spark or something in your deck, like iron whips and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that guy's not going to be healed up, like, ever. Oh, I don't have that him. <laughs> He's going to be very frail. If there's anything, there's anything from Frost Scales to Quakes. I wonder what he has in his hand right now. Maybe it's, like, a Frost Scale. I was debating whether I should sack or not. He sacrificed, and hopefully he got a bad draw, and this thing can survive. And hopefully clear his board with like a focus and a blessing face on the berserker or it might kill the berserker this turn yeah probably gonna kill the berserker this turn okay so berserker does not die this turn and I just noticed that I don't have enough order to clear his board if I focus this the guy uh the grave hawk has eight attack he has nine health on the board um if i bless him haste the other dude um he, i still uh this this wildling surviving with one health so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sack for uh order just yet please please get a good draw okay that's pretty good um i would like to protect both of these guys that might not be possible um i'll go like this i'll give up the sister of the owl okay So every time he attacks, he's only healing himself by one at least. Because Leech Ring just goes off the countdown. Okay, so we're looking good unless he has direct removal. 
does, then we might not be looking too good. But even then, we should be okay. Okay, so it's going to kill my sister. But I'm going to take this opportunity to just go ahead and clear his board. Blessing of haste. And kaboom! And let's go ahead and pressure the top of his board. So now anywhere where he puts a creature will be threatened by a one counter and dude that's about to attack. Both are only a one attack, but both can be focused next turn. Alright. Wildling, and I will be able to kill that if it doesn't put any protection, protection behind it. And a vitality will okay, so that's slightly scary. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the focus. I'm gonna, I want to play the thing there. Stone pack, we don't really need because we're gonna sack for a while to get that kabonk off. I'm just gonna move up. Yeah, I'm just gonna move up. I don't want to get in a fight with him. If we both if we both don't bother each other, I'm gonna win this game because I have more stuff on the board that's gonna deal faster damage to idols. Look at those two six attack guys. One of them's relentless. And then I have two one count on guys. They're gonna have two attack from the Wetland Ranger, and then I have another five attack relentless guy. So, and we're actually exactly tied on scrolls and resources right now. So let's run away with a win in this first game of judgment on this run. Because that would leave me happy. I guess. I guess if he has a quake, I think it would be good for him to play it. He had a quick, he probably wouldn't have placed that dust like anything last turn though. He really has to get rid of those like that like uh Well I have so many ship threats on the board now it's hard for him to come back just by destroying one of them. He's playing little things. I guess his goal is to come back with that wild thing just smashing those idols. Sorry, bud. But I don't think that's going to work that well. I'll go ahead and just go with a. Yeah, I'll sack for that. I'm gonna kabunk six. I don't want to move down and like kill myself, but I do want to kill this thing, so I'll just go for the kabunk on you. Rat king. It's good, I guess. Um, six plus two plus two. Okay, let's go like this. I want to maximize this idle damage, you know? Almost maximize it. Let's just put a bunch of rats over here. They'll be, they'll be have to attack if uh, I'm able to just hit, uh, keep hitting idols with that while well in range here. See what turn code has. I think this is judgment number 16. We're reaching up these numbers fast. I think we're on like rank 26 right now. Or going to be on rank 27. And judgment 16. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've obviously played much more than 26 rank matches and 16 judgment matches, though. So. Yo! Yeah, so I, I knew I should have put like a rat in front of that thing. Who knows, maybe he doesn't have anything else. Okay, he's moving down. <laughs> okay, so he's kind of dead. Uh, let's see, we have... Binding Root. I like that. Or I could just kill it. Nah. Yeah, we're just going to kill it. So is that a b -b board clear? I think it is. I think so. Um, we 
move here, move there, like that. No, it's not a board clear because the vitality will survive. And that poor little well, not able to heal a thing. Okay, there's a win. GG to you, sir. I left. Okay. Well, I guess that was fun. Um, thank you all for watching. Keep on playing scrolls, everybody. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And remember, tomorrow I'm going to be back from uh, my little not actually being here but still uploading videos. And so it's going to be more present time videos. And it's going to be much more exciting. And I've, I'm going to probably have some nice news for tomorrow. So uh, see ya, everyone.